Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is CJ. Welcome to the channel. If you have a YouTube channel and you want to know how to use YouTube Studio, this video will be for you. In fact, I will be making multiple videos on how to use YouTube Studio inside and out, going through everything on the far left, the dashboard, the content, copyright, everything within YouTube Studio. I'm going to go through step by step so you can understand how to use this, whether you're a beginning YouTube creator or if you're advanced, this video is gonna be for you. All right, guys, here we go. Here is my YouTube channel, CJ's Info. The beginning part of learning how to use YouTube Studio is understanding it from the outside, not necessarily just starting on the inside, how do you actually get to YouTube Studio? Now, I will be covering mostly on the computer, and I highly recommend you buy a laptop. You don't need an expensive laptop to use YouTube Studio, but you can use this on the mobile app, the YouTube Studio mobile app on your phone. I do recommend you download that. There are a lot of things that you cannot do on that mobile app. And you will need a laptop to, to do a lot of these features. So how do you get to YouTube Studio when you start out with your YouTube channel? So if you're on your main page here, it says customize channel or manage videos. Either one of these is going to allow you to enter YouTube Studio. You can also go to the top right of your profile icon, click on that, and then go drop down to YouTube Studio and click on that. So in the Marines, we have something called Break It Down Barney Style, okay? If you've ever seen the TV show Barney, this is what I'm going to do. Break this down Barney Style, as simple as I can make this for you to understand. There really is a lot to understand within YouTube Studio, and a lot of people don't realize there's so many different things that you can access and you can do for your videos, for your content to get better, or even to understand the analytics of it all. We are now at the dashboard, which is the first section of YouTube Studio. First section being on the left, you have dashboard, content, playlists, analytics, comments, and so forth. We're literally going to go through everything within YouTube Studio, as I mentioned, but we're going to take it step by step, starting with the dashboard, okay? All right, so the dashboard is going to show you your profile logo on the far left side here. It says view your channel on YouTube, and then that takes you right to the main page of your channel and what it looks like to people who are looking at your channel it has your latest video that you made it's going to show you that performance whether it's a long form content video or a shorts video it's going to put it right here front and center for you to see and it says first 15 days seven hours compared to your typical performance it ranks it by views now if you place your cursor over that portion it shows you compared to your other videos now this was a shorts video it's comparing all of my shorts videos at least seven of them here and it's showing me how it ranks and that that is a better way to understand where this video your latest video stands compared to the other ones it's saying you got 40 views typical is 330 average percent viewed 56 percent and how many likes and so forth now you can go and click on the video analytics on that. You can go right to the comments. So YouTube has given you a lot of ways to access this information quickly to that one video. Now, right here in the middle, it says channel analytics, okay? 5,202 subscribers, I'm up 85 in the last 28 days. Then there's a summary and it says the views, watch time and estimated revenue. All right, so my views are up 45,600. The watch time's up 1.2 thousand hours, and the revenue's up 288.36. As you look below that, it says your top videos. What are the top videos in the last 48 hours? YouTube's letting you know in the last two days how many views did you earn on your top videos. You can also click on the channel analytics for that. Let's go ahead and scroll down. Published videos. Basically, the dashboard is like a synopsis. It's a quick explanation of how your content is doing. It's to show you what's going on and to praise you for what you've been doing and to keep you motivated. Publish videos, show me here my published videos, what stats are, 
and recent activity is my members and subscribers. So subscribers are here. If I want to see members, I can click on here. This is anyone who's joined or subscribed recently. If you want to see all of your subscribers, you can simply click see all subscribers. Now this can be organized in any way that you want. You can do it by lifetime, one year, 90 days, 28 days, seven days. You can change it from the most recent time to the latest time, how many subscribers they have if they're a YouTube channel, and then you can actually subscribe to their channel just by clicking on subscribe here. At the very bottom it says latest post. This is my post to my members. It's showing that from the community tab. You can also go right to your community tab. All right, and then the news is on the right. The news is what YouTube is letting you know what new things have come out on YouTube Studio for YouTube creators. And then there's ideas for you from YouTube to know how to better your channel, how to get better, more successful, how videos get discovered, learn how YouTube search and discovery system works and what actions you can take to help your videos reach more viewers. You can click on that, start now. YouTube known issues. They fixed a issue where videos streams were wrongly set to private. They're letting you know there was issues that someone reported or some people reported and they fixed whatever problems were happening. Creator Insider, that is actually a YouTube channel that I am subscribed to. YouTube has their own separate YouTube channel called Creator Insider where you can learn everything about YouTube that's coming out, new updates and features. It's a really great channel. I love watching their content. Definitely check out Creator Insider to keep up to date. And they'll post right here what was the last thing that they mentioned or said. And then at the bottom here, they say what's new on U Studio, new research feature in YouTube Analytics, new creator tips, changes to the community guidelines strikes. Some people actually mistake or let's say miss is there's three little icons at the top right here. Right from the dashboard, you click on the up arrow button and upload you can, a video from here. Select the file from your computer. You can actually go live just by clicking on go live, or you can create a post for your community page. If you don't have a community page, you'll get one when you reach 500 subscribers. Before, they used to have a discussion page and then they had a community page for people with a thousand subscribers, but now YouTube has dropped the rules to 500 subscribers is all you need to reach a community page. And it's a really beneficial tool to inform your subscribers or members of things that are going on on your channel. There's also a plus icon up here. It says create. You can actually click on that and it's going to do the same exact thing. Upload videos, go live or create a post. Now back to the dashboard again. This is just a very simple video on how to use YouTube Studio starting with the dashboard. And the next video we're going to be doing is going to be content. So think of this more as a series. So I will explain everything within YouTube Studio because there's a lot of things to cover and a lot of people are just unsure. They just do random things and then they think they understand what's going on and I really want you to understand what exactly all of this stuff means and how you can use it. The next video we'll talk about the content. There's so many different things that you can do. I hope you like this video. We're going to take this step by step. This is a complete guide to understand YouTube Studio inside and out. For anyone who's on YouTube who's beginning or advanced, these videos are going to be for you. Like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.